Beam Centauri is partnered with Cisco. Uh, we use Cisco's um, industrial products. We use Cisco's enterprise network solutions. We use Cisco's security solutions. Um, and we're beginning to pilot uh, Cisco's SD-WAN solutions, uh, software-defined networking, um, and we're very excited with what's happening um, with automation going into the future. How can we leverage ACI? How can we leverage um, integrating our applications into our network environments? Uh, we're looking at the DNA uh, solution. We haven't fully implemented it, uh, but we're interested in rolling that out to uh, make our network more efficient, our, our visibility to what the network has more efficient. Um, so we're, we are a global uh, wine and spirits company and we have a huge footprint and uh, we, without Cisco's uh, tools and, and uh, options that they're giving us, I think we would uh, really be living far in the past. Um, so uh, it's been interesting to see how our networks over the last three years have really evolved um, and, and grown. We've actually been a Cisco customer for longer than I've been with Beam. I've been with Beam about five years. Uh, and when I came into Beam, um, as, as I understand it, Beam had already pr been purchasing Cisco enterprise switches and routers uh, for at least 10 years. Uh, but the way we've chosen to engage with Cisco now um, to really say Jim Beam and Beam Centauri are powered by the Cisco um, tools and solutions, uh, I think has really accelerated. Uh, so we've really uh, focused on how can we update our networks and our solutions. Maker's Mark is one of our brands in Loretto, Kentucky, and our Maker's 46 um, had become so popular, we ran, we ran out of places to age it. And uh, we can only age it in certain areas because of the temperature, environmental variables, um, how it affects our evaporation, how it affects our flavors. Uh, we have to have it at the perfect temperature. And we were out of room. And we realized that on our property, we have a small mountain or a hill and uh, I was actually there when we were able to, uh, the construction workers blew a hole in the side of the mountain with uh, dynamite. And uh, we now have a cellar that goes inside of that hill and we've uh, lit it up with network connectivity, wireless, uh, and we're monitoring all of our barrels. Uh, we're working on rolling out RFIDs on all of our barrels in that cave. I never thought that we would actually, that I would be working on a network project that went into a cave um, let alone uh, a cave that stored bourbon, so that's been a cool project for us. Well, thank God our contractors handled most of the cabling, um, but as far as wireless goes, that was really, uh, the, the cabling wasn't as much of a challenge as it was the wireless uh, connectivity from inside to outside, inside, through all the racks which are inside of the cellar. Um, so we had to focus on how can we um, and make our wireless uh, the most effective within the, within the cave. I feel uh, very, the future's promising for Beam's uh, IT infrastructure and for our networks, um, how we can leverage automation uh, and productivity, improving our flavors and our brands. Uh, it's very important to Beam and I think uh, uh, we're really moving forward in that with good direction.